inserting tables within your document. The default formatting for the text inside those tables will be normal, so they will look exactly the same as the rest of the text. That means that this table is going to be quite wide because every single row will be treated like a paragraph, so it will be one and a half line spaced and with the extra distance between the paragraphs. So that format for the text inside the tables is not suitable. We'll need to set up a style for the text inside the tables to make them look more compact and more neat. There is an existing style that is very close to what we need, so we'll just modify that one. It's called No Spacing and it's right next to the normal, so just we need to right click and modify. The default settings for the font and the size will be identical to the text. The font must be the same. The table text could be a little bit smaller than the main text of your document, but it should still be reasonably sized so it's easy to read. So I would suggest a minimum size of 10. So if you expect to have big tables, it's probably a good idea to set up this style to be slightly smaller than your text that will allow you to fit more content within the table. But if you don't expect big tables, so you can keep the font size identical to the rest of the document. I'm going to drop my font size to 10. It is vitally important that you make sure the text inside the tables is left aligned. My document was set up as fully justified and that's why my default setting here is for the no spacing style to also be fully justified but that is not acceptable when you have narrow strips of text within each column and if you force them to fully justified you will end up with big gaps between the words so the text needs to be left aligned by default. If you want to center a particular part of the table that's absolutely fine but the default option should be left aligned. It needs to be single spaced, it needs to be much more compact than the rest of the text. You're trying to make your table neat and compact and its structure to be clearly visible. And then we can go to the format button and choose the paragraph option. We don't want any indentation. However, the spacing by default is zero, which means that it will be very, very compact. This will make it difficult to read this table if you have more than one paragraph of text within a cell. So I would suggest increase that spacing a little bit. You don't want to space it out too much because it's going to end up looking very similar to what you're currently seeing uh, with the default settings of the normal style. But we want a little bit of a gap so that it doesn't look too cramped. So I would say three points before and after will give us that little bit of a gap. And then you can click OK to finish formatting the paragraph options and OK to finish modifying the style. And then all you need to do is select all the text inside your tables and format it with a no spacing style. And you can see how much better it looks. Obviously, if there are some row headings or column headings that you want to make bold, that's absolutely fine. You do it yourself manually because the computer will not be able to do that for you. And the same if you want to center some text, you just do it manually. The vertical positioning of the text within a cell when you have a large cell like this one can be done from the Table Tools Layout tab. When you go there, you will see a set of options to align your text within the cell to be vertically centered, vertically and horizontally centered, and you can choose the best option for you. I have chosen to align it to the left and center it vertically. We'll do the same with the second table. and apply the no spacing style and you can see how much better it already looks. And then again, if you need to make something bold, you can do that manually. Again, centering if you need it, you can do that manually. 